I get bummed out when I watch CSI and stuff, and I just realize you cannot commit crime anymore. <laughs> no, it's no. It's over. It, that it's is over. over. It makes me sad a little I, bit. I think of the guy that's been sitting in his house going to work for 20, 30 years, and then... <laughs> Hello, it's the police department. Oh. And it's like, what? That was 30. Think of your life 30 years ago and then try to imagine, like, what you did just hanging out one night and then thinking, like, paying consequences for that now. Well, Are they getting DNA off a BTK. cup or something? Yeah, yeah. BTK could have, if he wasn't an ass. Yeah. Oh, he, he had He'd a, still be bragging. Sure out. Same as uh, Bundy. Bundy got caught and the Green got River and the Green River Killer. I didn't know how he got caught. But all those and, guys, and, that's uh, their whole MO. Uh, Henry Lee Lucas and all those two, they all are asses. That's their whole MO though. They they want they enjoy not only the 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 crime committing the murder and stuff. They enjoy that publicity that they huh? enjoy seeing their name in the paper I mean, or the BTK their, their wasn't character. killing again though, was he? Was he? No, he wasn't killing again. No, 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 he had to open his yap though. Yeah, he was this fool. Twenty years later, he's he's a yeah. fool. BTK sent it, sent a letter on the uh, computer, and they found him on a on the computer uh, disk. They found a computer, and who was on it at the time where yeah. he was sending it from the the church. But before he was sending those things, like he would cut a K out of, <laughs> yeah, one uh, of those out of Ebony magazine. The hack <laughs> notes. Uh, yeah. Those days are over. <laughs> he would cut a U. And he, would, he would put together a whole. I murdered her. With with a uh, uh, with two like w w the 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 damn uh, 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 tweezers yeah. tweezers and a hot knife and just yeah. cut and Remember? make sure no fingerprints was now on. Now they're just Remember? like you know we've we've found out what scissors were used to yeah. cut the magazine yeah. and we've narrowed it down to one store where we checked the surveillance camera video yeah. and found. Those were the good old days. We could slice up a Vibe magazine and make a ransom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make a ransom note out of it. No what one happened, getting away with that. What happened in the days of John Doe, where he could just <laughs> no John go Doe back anymore. and forth to the to the supermarket and make a fat man eat until the stomach burst? <laughs> <laughs> and I could just I could just write in my in my little diary all day long. I was sitting there. I was looking at some jerk in the train. He tried to talk to me. I threw up on my lap. I could just, I could have a library full of my crimes. Right. Never. I could have a man. I'm paying a man's rent. I could cut off his hand, and I could spell "help me" in the back of a yeah. of a picture. It just, never be able to That's do that. from the movie Seven. That's those are the good old days. <laughs> Literal Jim. You'll never again be able to nail some lady's feet to your kitchen floor and then just, and then just conduct business for a week. The good old days when you can cut a slice of fat from a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and not get caught. Uh, but they, there's a lot of unsolved crimes. Running yeah, around, you know what? Man. But that, one of those shows, the uh, uh, Cold, Cold Case, Case Files, yeah. they show like this oh. one pain in the ass cop has to look at a box on one board. He's bored one day and he's like, ah, yeah, the old Johnson file. Let me let me pull this off of this top dusty shelf. And he opens it up and they find some hair and this. He goes, ah, send this for a DNA. And then and nowadays they don't want to. People don't even want you to think that you can possibly get away with something. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you who got away with the crime. The Zodiac Killer. I watched oh, yeah, the yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. They're implying that this is the guy, but they never found yeah. the guy. Is he alive the, the guy they think it was? No, the guy they think it was, they're saying he's dead. But it ain't the guy. Yeah, there were a couple of those uh, big serial killers that just kind of eh, disappeared. Or, or Zodiac the just... And you're like, yeah, well, that, mm, probably not really the guy. Zodiac worked it at, like, Joker proportions. <laughs> I mean, he yeah. was just toying with the authority. I mean, if you believe that well, yeah. what well, happened in the movie really happened with Robert Downey Jr. But, I mean, it was... Random. Uh, it's incredible, man. Just it's be incredible. random. A random... Random a with... A random killing without the whole... Like, if I'm not dumb enough to just go kill black women... Because yeah. that's the profile. It's got to be random. It's just random anything. You think you could get away with, uh, if you were, like, so inclined to uh, yes. get away with serial killers? Absolutely. No one would think, see, they would have be expecting me mm -hmm. to kick a door in and rape a family. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> if I just strangled a little old Chinese lady in Chinatown who was uh -huh. collecting cans, yeah. who would know? With some gloves on? Gonna know. Who, no one would know. With no, ah, you get a hair on you with DNA now. It's a like Chinese it's girl's hair. I'll just it say it was, so I was on a train. Weird. Yeah, you get a one of her, <laughs> one of her dead Chinese girls' hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd end you up with a dumpling and a spare rib in your. <laughs> no, <laughs> in your I pocket. wouldn't get caught. It ran, just random. You got to be no. random where there's, I guess, not much physical contact. 
uh, far away from where you reside, uh, or you know, in in various places. First of all, places. can I say this? Yeah. I, I, I watch a lot of these shows, like yeah. we all do. I have a record, so it, it, it would it would be weird. But if you didn't have a record, mm -hmm. you can do anything. Yeah, no because fingerprints. Because there's no, they would have to catch you and suspect you uh -huh. before they would test you for anything. That's true. So you can have anything. You can the beat the 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 Green River Killer. His sperm was everywhere. <laughs> On trees, it was just it was just <laughs> trees. It was just it was just protoplasm <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. But so what? They have Unless some you have dudes something to compare thing. it to. Yeah, exactly. You have to have a a, a, a criminal yeah. to go with all this mm -hmm. all this <laughs> semen. How did, <laughs> how did anybody get caught on fingerprints before computers? Cops would just sit there with a magnifying glass and look at a book. Uh, yep. How did Isn't you ever crazy? get caught? Oh yeah. yeah, this one has a ridge like that one in the book. How? I, I don't know. I don't that, get it. that is amazing. You Before were dumb. Computers, you just had to go through file cabinets full of yeah, was it fingerprints? It was just like the big photo album books. And yeah. Just... I guess there would be like you know if if there was a robbery, you check the mo, you check a bunch of things to probably try to narrow down as many people as you could, and then just take the people that fit the mo and then check their uh. Oh, check their fingerprints. You wouldn't check like you know. You wouldn't check a rapist for a uh, burglary. Yeah, you have a nice Something like that. Yeah, you, know. so, you have a rape binder. Right, you have your rape fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> you <know>, these are. <laughs> and, and, and also, when you look at profiles, uh, uh, the you, you take the uh, the DC snipers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was we all thought. Oh, have, was, have white guy written all over. It was, sure. and, and it was, and he was a genius. Big marine. They thought this was this guy built his own helicopter, <laughs> right? And uh, they didn't know it was just a lazy Negro <laughs> oh, and, and a Buick Century. Buddy. And and uh, and ultimately, they they got caught because of that, because it was because snitches. A lot of people look. How did they get caught? Sn a snitch. Um, a dude, mm. a, a a a old girlfriend of him. His new boyfriend, I think, snitched on him. He was snitched on. They got snitched. It was John Muhammad's old girlfriend, new boyfriend, knew he was doing it. Yes, no, had a said this guy is could be the guy. He probably told her like uh, one of these days. Yeah, she go around she was like that's John. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. She snitched on him, and and the uh, the the explosive guy, the 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 bomber, yeah, the bomber, the bomber. Take his his family, his brother yeah, snitched brother. on him, and I, and that's the thing. A, a lot of people get tips, but I tell you, like I always said, I, there's few people I'm loyal to, like like to that level. I think, you know, my mother. I would if she, I think my mother could blow up a bus with children, and I wouldn't. <laughs> you would I wouldn't. Out. I if I knew she did it, I'd go. Oh boy, mums. You well, know what you do? <laughs> mums, you blow. You can't be blowing up buses with children. <laughs> but I would try to distance myself a little bit from her. Yeah. So I didn't know. So if they did catch her, I go ah. But it, could you be the guy mm. that? You're the one that sends your mother to jail for the rest. She's gonna go to court. She's gonna be sent to some lady prison for the rest of her life. Yeah. And I don't. I don't. I couldn't do it. And so, but a lot of these dudes, they they snitch on. They, a lot but of. But then, the how would you happened. feel if she blew up another bus? And then you. I'd like, be nervous oh, then, but I damn, still. I, I don't think my mother could do anything. Yeah. For me wow, to snitch. I've actually Sup left drugs loyalty. in my mother's desk. <laughs> and called the FBI. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if I could go, my mother has been blown up the bus, the children's buses. Yeah, that's something when you know. get somebody like, uh, well, uh, it's usually these estranged people anyway, kind of like Kaczynski and his brother weren't. You know, at Thanksgiving dinner every uh, year together. He recognized his writing. Yeah. They put out the, the manifesto yes. in hopes that somebody would recognize the writing, and, and it worked. Yeah, that's that's how they got him. I would always turn somebody in just out of the fear that if I didn't, they would say that I was an accessory or something, or that I was covering. Or yeah, aren't you always scared of that? I was like, yeah, you got to tell. Yeah, yeah I would I would absolutely turn somebody. I, I don't was, care. I was petrified one day because uh, uh, this these two guys I knew, uh, had had a uh, one of these low end stock uh, race cars that they used to take out to Jersey and, mm. and race at the strip out there, and uh, they knew some guy who had a better car, so they stole his car, took the good parts off of it, and then burnt it in the woods. 
And I knew that this was going to happen because one of the guys told you me. You knew it? He, yeah. Okay. He said he, he, I wasn't involved, but I knew it was happening. They told me we're going to steal this guy's car and just take the parts. I go, what are you, you crazy? What are you going to do with the car? I'm going to take it into the woods, just dump gas on it and burn it. I was like, you guys, I go, I, don't, I, I, I want no part of this. I go, I don't even, I, I'm not even happy you told me. So I'm sitting there watching TV. I'm sorry. And I hear sirens in the background. And, and I was like, because I knew when they were going, where they were dumping it and everything. And I just hear the sirens from the fire department. And I'm like, oh, my God, I, I know about this. But what if didn't you feel like what if they like, had to start doing the good fellas um yeah, covering yeah. up just and they just me like find frozen an carboni <laughs> <laughs> frozen carbon hanging up in the meat truck just kill you just yeah, yeah just like, like ice pick you know throat. Anthony knows about this maybe we you told him why would you yeah. tell me yeah. that that's why I was pissed that they told me I'm like Did I don't want to know. Yeah, they got caught. Thank they God, because I'm saying this conversation now is implicating. No, nah, it's statute of limitations. It's a long time ago. And they didn't give you any pressure to jump in? This sounds like, I, I like this 1950s standby me crime. Yeah, yeah. Well, You're in a yeah. What are you, chicken, Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wanted no part of it. I don't know I don't know why they told me. But uh, but they, they told me everything, what they were going to do. They were, oh, yeah, we're taking the parts. I hate that mother F, you know, I'm going to take his car. And when you said no, they were just like, okay. They didn't even ask me to get into wow, it. They were just, just, it. They were just say, telling okay. me, like, hey, guess what we're doing tonight? They go, what, hanging out? You going, you know, drink some whiskey or something in the woods? What, what are you doing? Oh, no, we're going to steal a car and burn it. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I gotta sit here shaking, thinking the cops are gonna knock on the door, and then I gotta try to look like I don't know. Like uh, I was expecting the cops to come to the door, and then me going like, would you have I don't know anything. I had to try to seem like I didn't know anything, but I did know anything, and now, then I'd be screwed. Is that because of of the code of not snitching, or you just didn't want to be involved? Like didn't want to be involved, and and if I knew something. I didn't know if I would, could be implicated as now, what, having would you, would pre-knowledge. You, would, would, would you have done time? Would you have snitched if you had to? If, if I would have if had they, to go. If they said you've been implicated? <laughs> <laughs> your buddy Anthony's uh, down there singing like a pigeon. I was like, hey, I didn't yeah. ask, I didn't ask minute, to be told. What called. could your mother do? You love your mom. Yeah. What is the most your mother can do and you mm. won't snitch on her? Um, yeah, I'm probably in the same boat as you. I wouldn't. Uh, I'd just turn my head and make believe nothing happened. No matter how violent and horrible. Sink into a bottle of something and not talk about it. Push it to the back of my head like it never happened. Would you do time for your mom? Uh, boy, that's a tough one. No. You know, she's, she's, <laughs> no way. She's 69 years old. You know? She's had a great life. <laughs> exactly. She's not going to get brutally raped in jail. Exactly. <laughs> See my ass, See? mom? <laughs> Some girl prison. Mom, you'll be dead in six years. Don't no. worry about that. You'd go to prison for your mom? No. Okay. All right. I That's wouldn't sit in a prison. Line. But boy, no. No. I'm not going to prison I wouldn't for my mother, no. even visit my mother in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if I I wouldn't either because if I visit my mom, she's just sitting there frail in prison. I just that would be, be like, bad. "Whoa, man, I feel hurt." I want to. I try to break her out. Oh yeah, but because you can't get that much time for you can break, break anyone out. out. Sure you can, man, well, especially see? your mom. Like, <laughs> you need someone who's kind of nimble. Here's the plan, see? Yeah, you you tie a, a big bomb with like a little string on it outside the prison wall, circle bomb. <laughs> tie it around <with> <laughs> five versus five. Tie a stagecoach to the bars <laughs> of the window. Oh, I say, mom. I say, listen. <laughs> All right, I need you to go and first get some plaster. Make a make a plaster head of yeah. yourself. I need you to get a raincoat, and I need yeah. you to go get the England sisters, yeah. and I need y'all to tie some stuff together. I need y'all to buy a Yeah. Now the greatest the greatest breakout is Lex Luthor in Superman, where he makes the hologram. The hologram of himself. <laughs> yeah, it's just looks over. <laughs> Hey, Luther, I said lights out. Hey, Patrice's mom, I said lights out. That is a good one. I, don't think, I think I would not do time for my mom. Yeah. I would definitely never, under no, I, if I was in a room uh -huh. and they were um, putting the, the, the bright light in my face and I'm sweating, uh, did your mother blow up a school bus? Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know anything about it. No. No, she didn't. I, I, I probably would risk going to jail because I didn't and... snitch, you know what? But I though? wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to jail for a crime. If you're committed. up to that point where you're in an interrogation room, 
you're folding. <laughs> yeah, but I've watched more of those shows. They get these hardcore mother. They get them in these interrogation rooms. I mean, tatted up, pipe hitting brothers in there, murdering sons of bitches, and. Before, like, they were in there for eight hours sometimes, ten hours. And, and at the end, the guy's like, deprived. I didn't mean to kill the man. I didn't mean to kill the man. Crying their but eyes But that's, that's yeah. NYPD in nice. real life. No, real life. No, this is, you ever see no. these dudes and they go 35 this, years to life this, and the dude just pops his collar and says, give me, oh, there give, me that, some of those. give me that tea right there. Let me go do this time. You know what it is? The smart guys are the ones that lawyer right up. They go, well, a lawyer, you never see him the rest of the show. These other guys are blabbing, and you see these hardcore mothers, after eight, ten hours of interrogation, they're crying, going, the go and all, I mean, to shoot him. <laughs> and then the guy gets up, walks out, and just goes, but yeah, you know what? Him. You ever been really tired? <laughs> you're crying. If you're really tired, you'll say you did something just so you can sleep. Yeah, that's, well, yeah. that's how they get these guys. It's, it's wrong. You, yeah. they I'll, did I'll do tell it. you, the best case of of not taking time badly. I think he was the leader of the Latin Kings. One of those guys. Oh yeah. When he got he got convicted, something happened in court. He stood up in court and urinated on the floor <laughs> in court. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a guy who really made a statement oh, to the judge. Man. That's awesome. That is the best thing I ever yeah, heard in my that's, life. That's, I think that's what it was. Now that's hardcore. 